Hey, I'm Cory. And I'm Romina. And we're doing gymnastics for you. We do have another video if you just search up gymnastics uh, video one. You can see us. So today we're going to be teaching you guys how to do a front lumber. The first step is stretching your body. So first you should start with your wrists. So go down on your knees and put, put your wrists facing forwards and kind of like put pressure on them and turn them each side and put pressure on them so when you're done doing this you should do this for maybe a couple minutes and when you're done doing this uh... you go down to your like back with your back you should be able to do some bridges uh... you be, should be able to do handstand to bridge for a front lumber so with your back what you're gonna do is go down into a a bridge and go go into a bridge five times so I'm just going to go once, but you guys should go five. So, straighten your legs. And when you've done that, when you've done that five times, rock your back out. Now you need to stretch your hips. Go side to side. In circle formation. Back and forward. Now you need to stretch your leg. So you go down like this, one leg here, and one leg straight. Make sure to point your toes so your toes are stretched out. And go down. And then go down. And try to touch your nose to the ground. Now with the other leg. And that's how you stretch your hips and your legs. Okay, so after you're done stretching, you should feel all stretched out and you should be comfortable with your handstands to do a front lumber. So do a couple handstands and an important thing for gymnastics is always have your hair up so it doesn't get in the way of your face so you don't like collapse or fall. So I'll just do one handstand, but if for some people they might want to do five or six just to be comfortable. Okay, so now you go to handstand to bridge. And you might want to do that like five or six times, same as the handstand, just to like be sure. <laughs> okay, so once you do uh, your handstand to bridge, make sure you find like a little slanted hill type of thing. So it'll help you more to come up. And what will mostly help you is if you land on the toes of your feet. Because if you land on the toes, it'll help you come up then, um, more than if you land on like the ball of your foot. So I'm going to land on my toes and I'm going to go down onto my knees. So I'm going to come up like this. So it'll kind of help me like elevate up to standing up from a handstand. So this is kind of slanted so it will help me. Okay, so once you got that down, like, you want to try coming up from your bridge, and it helps to go on your toes just to, like, keep your balance, but it's okay if you step forward a little, um, until you get it. Like, if you get it perfectly, you want to try and have flat feet and come up. It's much more difficult. Okay. Okay, so once you got that down, like, you want to try coming up from your bridge, and it helps to go on your toes just to, like, keep your balance, but it's okay if you step forward a little, um, until you get it. Like, if you get it perfectly, you want to try and have flat feet and come up. It's much more difficult. Okay. Okay, so once you guys have the front lumber, make sure to practice every day so you don't lose it, because that's happened to me. I've tried it and I've gotten it, but the next day I tried it and I lost it. So make sure to practice every day. And um, 
again, if you have the hang of it, try to land on the balls of your feet and come up because it's more difficult and it will help with most things. So at the end, if you follow all the steps, this is what it will look like at the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. So that's the front lumber. Please subscribe or comment. Bye.